Joining me now on the program from Hong Kong, James Chow is the WHO Goodwill Ambassador and host of China Current. James, let me start with you. Hong Kong has managed to keep the number of people infected with coronavirus relatively low using a very aggressive strategy of testing, tracing uh, and isolation. What is the situation like in the city right now? Well, Anand, I think things are getting better. We're hearing that in a couple of days, restrictions may be eased off slightly, meaning that more venues might be able to open up again. And some semblance of the businesses and services that we've got used to will be available all over again. And I always think that's going to be the bellwether of how open this uh, new post-COVID era will be. But I think what's happening in Hong Kong is being done very carefully in staggered careful stages so that we don't get a surge of large densities of people and therefore the risk of further waves of infections. But I think the most important thing here is that people are still very much emotionally and mentally traumatized by the events of almost 20 years ago when we had an outbreak of SARS. It was very much concentrated in Hong Kong. And I think the lessons learned then have put people on their guard very quickly this time around. So, James, what are the kinds of businesses that are now being allowed to reopen in Hong Kong? If, for example, you go to a fast food joint just down the road from where I am right now, uh, before you could only order takeout, you'd need to wear a mask. You still need to, even just to get in. They will uh, check your temperature uh, at the entrance before you take a step onto their property. But more and more people are being allowed to dine in, and they're able to do that not only through Uh, the policies that governments are allowing them to do, but also they're installing these plastic dividers, these thick plastic dividers, so that even if I was sitting opposite you, for example, there'll be a reduced risk of droplets from one to the other while we eat our food. If you follow the other public health measures, for example, in Asia, we are strong in thermal screening at airports. Those desks are always, always open. There's someone there either taking your manual thermal scan or there is an automatic device that detects and stops you if you're running a fever. Basic measures like these need to be introduced at entry and exit ports all around the world. I think right now, to be fair, the weak link happens to be the developed economies in Western Europe and the United States where places like Hong Kong and mainland China and Singapore, for example, and South Korea are better, it's not because we're better than anybody else. It's because we learned these very painful lessons two decades ago. But we don't want anyone else learning the hard way. We want them to learn from us so they don't have to experience the same hardship. The China Current continues its special coverage on the coronavirus outbreak. Go to our social media, at The China Current, and our website for interviews, videos, and podcasts. I'm James Chow. Thank you.